We're at Internet Light, or the Plymouth Light Station, which was first established in 1768. And we're looking where the land extends down to Saitwish, uh, a summer village that has about 800 houses. And then as you come further to your right, you'll see Duxbury Beach and the approach road that you have to travel to get down here. We're actually on Coast Guard land that owns the top of the point, but Project Gerdet and Bug Lights is a volunteer group that takes care of it and maintains all the property out here except for the light, the foghorn, and the batteries. As you go around, as you go further, as you look out over at the Cape Cod Bay, if you go a little bit further to the right, you'll see Provincetown. It's such a beautiful day today. You can actually see Provincetown out there, about there. Below us is Fort Andrew, originally called Fort Gurnet. There's been a fort out here since the Revolution. And during the War of 1814, we actually engaged two British frigates. You see the red marker here. It's to make the light red in a danger zone. And this is for uh, Mary Ann rocks, which are semi-submerged. And as you come out of the Cape Cod Canal, they're an obstacle because you can run aground. And indeed, in 1928, the Robert E. Lee, which was a steamer coming from New York to Boston with a band, ran up on the rocks and actually settled on the rocks. It didn't sink any further. But in the Coast Guard responding to it, the Life Saving Service, three uh, life saving people from Manamet Point Station, as they were coming ashore, they boat went over and two of them died uh, for that particular case. So it's always a red sector on the maps, so it'll be as a red sector. As you look down, you'll see the foundation of one of the twin lights. This is the twin to this light was down there and they were connected. And they were built uh, in 1842, just like this lighthouse. And the twin would be where this foundation was. And in 1924, they no longer needed the twin lights to distinguish it, and they tore that lighthouse down. In 1998, because of erosion, this lighthouse was moved from just to the left of that foundation to over here, and it's been here ever since.